I think if I was looking around for what course I want to study at university, I think I would definitely pick mechanical engineering because it's one of the most diverse subjects to study. It's a really varied learning experience and everything about our programme is about preparing the student for their life and career ahead. Another thing that um, I think is quite common is the two engineering programmes, perhaps more than others, is the flexible way you can study. So uh, you can choose to come on a three-year Bachelors of Engineering programme or you can choose to enter on a four-year Integrated Masters, an MEng programme. Uh, or you can come and study as a postgraduate student on a MSc programme and we have those programmes in many different specialist areas connected to engineering. One example is Advanced Manufacturing Systems and Technology. You can also come as a PhD student in our department. We cover basically the whole breadth of uh, mechanical engineering and also this branch of connection with computer science, chemistry, material science, all of these. Uh, we have groups working across the whole breadth of engineering. Really. I think it's probably right to say that anywhere between 40 and 50% of our undergraduate and postgraduate students at any one time are international students and they really are from every corner of the world. And the same is actually true for the academic staff. I'm a typical example, I'm Italian and I think around 20-30% of the academics in the school are not from the UK, we are from all over the world and that makes things interesting around it. It really does, I think it's one of the most rewarding things about working in this department. I think the environment that there is at Liverpool in engineering is fantastic, it's something very unique. Uh, it's all about the people that are here, both students and staff. It's a very friendly environment, fantastic facility, and I think that makes a very big difference in the experience that you get. And also you get all this little opportunity here and there to develop other skills that are, you might not get in another department if you focus only on the technical bits of engineering. We work with a lot of uh, engineering companies, large and small, household names and organ companies that you won't have heard of, to make sure that we're uh, teaching the right stuff in the right way and preparing our students as much as we can. So not only do they help us design our teaching and our programmes, but they also help us deliver them. That's important. We like to invite practising professional engineers with exciting stories to tell from their work life into the department to give guest lectures, to work with students on projects. So students really are having intimate and sustained contact with industry. I think we try our best to embed hands-on activity through our programmes. We have a fantastic active learning laboratory where we can have labs with a group of students and they have state-of-the-art undergraduates and postgraduate labs there for teaching purposes. And when they get to do their individual project and the master project and so on, that's where actually our research strengths start to shine. They get access to our state-of-the-art research laboratories. We have some unique facilities like the Additive Manufacturing Centre for Metal 3D Printing, a robotics lab, we have a digital innovation facility, we have the laser engineering lab, which are really, really cutting-edge technology. And our students actually can get to experience that one as a user and as a developer of these technologies. We used to have projects in this department that people like you and me just dreamt up so that students might be interested in this. But by making the shift with our, most of our capstone projects to be real things in the real world, they're much more exciting and rewarding. What we're trying to do with those projects is try and come as close as we can to professional engineering practice, but in the school. And to do that, we set some really exciting projects where a group of anything between five and 15 students work together to design, build and test an engineering product or system. And almost all of them are with an industrial partner who help supervise the work and help teach them how to be a professional engineer and give students a chance to really prove that they can do real-world engineering. And can you give some example of this exciting project? So uh, my favourite project is the, is the Velocipede. Inside that thing that looks like a bullet is actually a recumbent bicycle. And it's basically the, the, the World Human Powered Speed Championships. We broke the British record at 77.4 really good hour. already. And we've broken now seven UK records and five world land speed records. Wow, super exciting. Our students work with almost every other discipline you can imagine. And I know that in recent years, our students have worked on projects with the vet school over at Leehurst, with medics, with dentists, with bioscientists, with chemists. During the COVID pandemic, we developed antiviral surface to make the 
the equipment safe to use for medicals and clinicians actually. That's an example of interface between mechanical engineering and chemistry and that, that shows actually where we can work at the interface between the two disciplines to do some very useful stuff for, for the population. It's also an interesting story that I think reveals something that engineering can affect everybody's daily life, often without them even knowing about it, yeah, and that's definitely. a good example. On the research side, we have a lot of links. We have the Leverhulme uh, Center for Doctoral Training, which is a cross-faculty uh, and cross-university collaboration with computer science, chemistry, engineering, where we work on automation of uh, chemistry labs, really, uh, with robotics, with sensor, with material science, uh, putting all together to do the next generation of chemistry lab. Our engineers now don't just design and build things from materials that exist already. They're also inventing new materials to do the specific jobs that they need. Yeah, the overall goal is actually to introduce this automation and this smartness in the chemistry lab so that we can discover material that don't exist at a fraction of the time at the cost. And those new materials will open up new possibilities for engineers to design new products new and systems. Products, definitely. One very exciting uh, opportunity that all our students have is to add a year to their programme and go and spend that year studying at a university in a different country anywhere in the world. So in recent years, students have gone to uh, North America, to Australia, to Asia and across Europe. And that really does uh, help them build certain qualities, more personal qualities that employers look for. But there's another way that students can add a year to their programme and that's by taking a year in industry. Any student in mechanical engineering can choose to spend a year in industry and I believe you supervised one on that programme last year. This student went to a major motorbike manufacturing company. He said that it was the greatest year in his life. When he came out, the industry decided to sponsor the final year project for him and actually he got an offer that he performed, if he performed very well in that particular project, he got the job with them. So he was super happy, he didn't have to look for a job afterwards. So it looks like our students are doing very well in the job market. They do, actually. I think for many years now, we've been up amongst the top two or three in terms of the employability of our graduates. And one of the reasons is that our programmes deliver graduates with the blend of knowledge, skills and experience that employers really want. Our students actually get the whole package when coming to the university, not only the excellent teaching from the academic staff, not only access to wonderful facility, but also the support that they need to actually succeed as a student in engineering.